People love to laugh. People love to watch comedy films and recite their favorite lines with their friends and laugh all over again. But here's a surprising stat. Despite our love for laughter, the highest grossing comedy of all time, we're talking about comedy, not animated children's movies or hybrids like Men in Black or Deadpool, is Ted. And it's not in the top 10 highest grossing films of all time. Not in the top 50, not even in the top 100. In today's video, we will be showing you our choices for the top 10 funniest movie scenes. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. What's your favorite funniest movie scenes? Please let us know in the comment section below. Now, let's get started. 10. National Lampoon's of Vacation, Clark's Sandwich Dance. While last year's sequel reboot, Vacation, certainly had its moments, there's no denying the original 1983 National Lampoon's Vacation starring Chevy Chase at his peak is an all-time comedy classic. In one of those movies that's hard to flick past when you see it on TV, since like many movies on this list, it's just teeming with laugh-out-loud scenes. And amidst all the madness, there's still a real heart, a desire for family unity. But enough of that sap. Let's get to the dog pee. In this scene, we have the Griswold family, along with Aunt Edna, Imogene Coca, and her dog, taking a lunch break at a rest stop during their road trip. During their travels, Clark, Chase, has engaged in some light flirting with a Ferrari-driving blonde, Christy Brinkley. He spots her at the rest stop, and she strangely puts on a flirty little dance for him while she drinks from a soda bottle. Clark can't get enough, so he bizarrely flirts back. His dance is funny enough, but when he starts opening his sandwich and showing it to her, our guts really bust. 9. There's something about Mary, the zipper. Sure enough, the Farrelly brothers have hit and miss over the years, and more miss than hit as of late. But they were at the top of their game with 1998's There's Something About Mary. The dialogue was funny, there was hilarious gross-out humor, and there was even a sincere love story at its heart. Granted, there were at least five men in love with the same woman, but still, it was Ted's, Ben Stiller, undying love for Mary, Cameron Diaz, that took the movie to another level. And the bedrock for that love was laid during the film's early flashback scene, when geeky Ted arrives at Mary's house to take her to the prom. Stiller is perfectly awkward as shaggy-haired, brace-faced young Ted. He has to relieve himself, so he heads to the bathroom for a pee when he innocently spots Mary through the window, changing in her bedroom. 8. Spaceballs Watching Spaceballs Brooks was never afraid to go meta and break the fourth wall, but the Spaceballs watching Spaceballs scene is the pinnacle. In it, Darth Vader wannabe Dark Helmet Rick Moranis is with his cronies searching their radar for the good guys, who are nowhere to be seen. His Tarkin, Colonel Sanders, George Wiener, has the bright idea to bust out the cassette of Spaceballs the movie. This was before DVDs and Blu-rays and streaming made it easier to skip through movies, despite the fact that they're hurtling through space in a technological marvel. And they do debate how it's possible to be on the set of the movie and watch it at the same time. After funny commands to prepare to fast forward through the FBI warning and Helmet not enjoying seeing himself fly headfirst into a wall, they finally arrive at the very moment they're in, watching themselves in real time. 7. National Lampoon's Animal House – Bluto's Zit The Bluto's Zit scene beautifully, or should we say disgustingly, illustrates that last bit. Bluto, played by Belushi in his first major film role after breaking out on the first season of Saturday Night Live, does his best to gross out an entire cafeteria. His tray already overloaded with food, he starts to squeeze sandwiches into his pockets, and when his pockets are full, he takes a big bite out of one and throws the rest back. 6. Young Frankenstein, Abby Normal Okay, we have to do it. We're putting two Mel Brooks scenes on this list. He's just too good a comedic writer and director. And Young Frankenstein from 1974 is pure gold, a true comedy classic. This black-and-white Frankenstein spoof stars Peter Boyle as the monster, pieced together with cadaver parts by Gene Wilder's Dr. Frederick Frankenstein, 
a man so tortured by his great-grandfather Victor, the scientist from the original Frankenstein story, that he purposely mispronounces his name, Frankenstein. In this abnormally funny, pun intended, scene, the monster has recently come to life and instantly tried to strangle his creator. Suspecting his hunchbacked, bulgy-eyed assistant Igor, Marty Feldman, has messed up. Wilder, who co-wrote the script with Brooks, is at his slow, burning best. And that's what makes this scene so funny. His delivery during this interrogation is spot on. He starts off acting kindly, but you can see in his crazy eyes and wild hair that he's about to unhinge. 5. Bridesmaids – Food Poisoning The food poisoning scene is utterly disgusting and absolutely hilarious. The bridal party is checking out dresses in an upscale boutique after a meal, when suddenly their skin looks clammy, bowels begin to rumble, and McCarthy's Megan dry heaves with an added touch of flatulence. Suddenly, the other ladies experience the same problems. Then they move to the bathroom, much to the dismay of the saleswoman, and all hell breaks loose, literally from their bowels. With the toilet taken, McCarthy sits on the sink, shouting, Look away! 4. Naked Gun 2 and a Half, The Smell of Fear, Sex Scene It's a tough call, but it contains arguably the series' most laugh-out-loud hysterical scene, when Frank Drebin, Leslie Nielsen, and Jane Spencer, Priscilla Presley, do the nasty. First, a little foreplay. A crazy spoof of the infamous sultry pottery scene from Ghost, only it's significantly less sexy. If you can look past the 100-year age difference, the sexy is first interrupted by a mysterious third set of hands. Then somehow their feet get in on the action. When they take their hands off the clay, it disgustingly splatters all over them. But part of what makes it funny is they don't care. They're too busy making out. 3. Anchorman – Newscaster Brawl The sequel also reprised the original's insane newscaster battle royale, and it was good in its own right. But there's just no beating the unexpected cameos and pure hilarity of the original. In it, the male newscasters are down in the dumps and get lost while in search of a suit store. But along comes a rival news team out for a bike ride for no apparent reason, led by Vince Vaughn in a cameo, and the rivals taunt our heroes. Suddenly, they all pull out weapons they've inexplicably been hiding in their suits. Ron, Will Farrow asks, Brick, where'd you get a hand grenade? Dopey Brick, Steve Carell, responds, I don't know. But along comes Luke Wilson's well-armed team, then Tim Robbins. 2. Dumb and Dumber – Harry's Toilet Fiasco how do you pick a single scene from a movie overflowing, pun intended, with gut-busting laugh-out-loud scenes? Go to the toilet, that's how. Always a good rule of thumb. When in doubt, go to the toilet. Toilet humor, that is. And here, we're not just talking about toilet humor in the conceptual sense, as in any kind of humor having to do with body parts or bodily fluid and waste. We're talking about literal toilet humor. When it comes to Harry, Jeff Daniels, and Lloyd, Jim Carrey, the heroes of Dumb and Dumber, 1984, telling them to make themselves at home is about the worst thing you can do. They're insane enough in a formal setting, see the blue and orange tuxedos. So when Mary, Lauren Holly, tells Harry to make himself at home and his bowels start to rumble, he quickly makes her toilet his home, a home no living thing would ever want to go near ever again after he has his way with it. Before we reveal the number one choice, we'd like to make a few honorable mentions. Downhill and Licorice Pizza, Two Pool for School in the Heights, and The Calm Before the Storm in A Quiet Place Part 2. 1. Monty Python and the Holy Grail, The Black Knight Narrowing down just one Monty Python scene for this list is a difficult task. Much of their humor, admittedly, is an acquired taste, and this scene may be no exception. Monty Python's The Meaning of Life had Mr. Creosote, Exploding, Graphic Sex Ed, and Find the Fish. And Life of Brian was blasphemously gut-busting. But this rip, pun intended, roaringly raucous scene from Monty Python in the Holy Grail, 1975, takes the cake for us. King Arthur, Graham Chapman, is riding his fake horse through the forest when he stumbles upon the dreaded Black Knight, John Cleese, impaling his foe through the head. 
Impressed, His Royal Highness invites the victor to join him in his court at Camelot. Silence from BK, who stands still and unimpressed. You make me sad, responds the rejected king of the Britons. But BK will not let him pass, so Arthur has no choice. It's fighting time. They unsheath their swords, and Arthur avoids the intimidating and overconfident Black Knight slashes with comic ease. Do you agree with our choices? Are there any movie scenes that you believe should have been included on this list? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more of our future videos. Please let us know which top 10 list you would like to see in our channel. With that said, keep enjoying our videos, and we'll see you in the next video.